Welcome to stop number nine on the ABP Crocs Tour in Charleston, South Carolina. AVP Crocs Tour heads to the Carolina Low Country for the first time ever. Charleston, South Carolina, where the Ashley and Cooper Rivers meet to form the Atlantic Ocean. And this weekend, the best beach volleyball players in the world gather here in Charleston for a chance at the title. It's the AVP Crocs Tour, stop number nine at the Family Circle Tennis Center. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and come inside to the Family Circle Tennis Center for the first ever visit to Charleston, South Carolina. I am Chris McGee and I am your MC in Charleston, South Carolina. I ask you this question, are you ready? Well then, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, growing up in Northern California out of University of Minnesota, the
ADP Crocs Tour Charleston Open is being brought to you by Crocs. New styles at Crocs.com. Bud Light, refreshingly smooth Bud Light, always worth it. And McDonald's. It's in the ABP. Is it in you? Gatorade. Beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. The first ever visit for the AVP Tour to Charleston, South Carolina. Time to Nautica navigate the match. Holly McPhee. Well, the keys today for EY and Nicole will be attitude. Attitude is everything. And they feel like when they play free and aggressive and they stay positive, they can beat anybody in the world. They had some success serving Misty short in Tampa. They're going to try and do that again. For Misty and Carey, passing the bomb jump serves from EY and, and Nicole will be key to them running their offense. Also, Misty and Carey both like to move the ball around and make EY and Nicole move on defense, which is hard for them. They're good digging the ball right at them. Well done, Holly McPeak. Well done, Charleston, South Carolina, inside the Family Circle Tennis Center. Mike Goldberg working in Ireland, so Chris McGee here. Usual MC doing the play-by-play. Karch -play. Karai and Holly McPeak. Sinjin Smith, look at the rules of the game. The best two of three. First two games are 21. The third is the 15. It's rally scoring, which means a point per play. And you must win each game by two points. Lane Young will be our first server. Partnered up with Nicole Brana. The winners this year, the first event on the ABP Tour in Miami, Florida. They took down... Carrie missed in the semifinal, went on to win that over Jen Boss and April Ross. Since that point, Carrie and Misty, seven in a row. Two of the top teams in the world gonna battle it out right here in Charleston, South Carolina. Karai, Holly McPeak, Chris McGee. I like that. Great defense from the beginning. I think we're going to see a lot of that. Misty looked a little tentative on her first side out. Didn't swing like she's been swinging. This is a pretty fast surface, pretty easy to jump. Misty May Trainer, 29 years of age. Two-time reigning MVP of the AVP. 76 open wins. Now the winningest player of all time. She's back to serve. 1-0 on the board. They'll go to Nicole Brand on the right side. Brana off the cover, hits it wide. Now time for the Bud Light recap. Well, first for Youngs and Brana, very smooth road. Just two matches on Friday, both of which went handily. And, and Lewis and Lima are not a bad team. They had a great finish in Dallas, getting a fifth place. A tight one last night, one of the or a late afternoon on center court here as they were working to uh, get the surface played up. And again, tight on the outside court today, 15-10. But really, only one match yesterday, one today. Very easy going. They're ready to go. EY, cross court, the dig by May. May down the line. For Carrie and Misty, they've had a pretty easy weekend as well, winning all games in two against Polson, Robertson, Akers, Hansen. Then beating myself and my partner Logan Tom last night. You know, we put pressure on them and they just played fantastic. They had a close one today, actually tied up 11 11 against Rachel and Tyra, but were able to win 15 12 in the third game in the semi. Soft shot is dug by May. And she puts it down the line, so the, the start May and Walsh needed. 4-0 here in game one, Karch. Well, you can tell when you're struggling a little bit, they haven't had a clean side out yet. May or Walsh have touched every single ball. When the ball comes over, when they're receiving serve, if all those balls are getting touched, they're going to be struggling. In fact, they have already switched now and put Rana on the left side from the right. Take a look at the results. Third place, Turner and Walkholder, who gave Kerry Misty everything they could handle. They lost 15-12 in the third game. Davis... Johnson Jordan third they are back and there's our partner Holly McPeak and Logan Tom with Jen Boss and April Ross in fifth and in seventh a great finish for Janelle Custer and Stacey Rowanhorse in seventh place four serving zero left to right Maida Walsh now to Ewine Brandon 
EY now switch sides and goes to the right. She puts oh, wow. away. Holly, they'll do that often during the same game. They'll switch sides. Well, both Elaine Youngs and Nicole Brown are tall players and can play either side. If they don't side out, they'll switch it up. They'll either run oh, a back cool. set or actually switch sides of the court from left to right. Nicole Brana, ABP's most improved player in 2006, played most of the year with Holly McPeak, and then at the end of the year with Elaine Youngs. with a dig of Walsh. And Brana. The interesting thing about this surface, it, it's a, a fast, pretty hard surface. Not normal for what we play. But the block is bigger, and everybody wants to hit. And that's why we're seeing a lot of hitting and a lot of big blocks. Two serving four, Nicole Brana. The University of Minnesota, all-time kill leader in the Big Ten, great indoor player, hammers that ball down the middle for an ace serve, and that'll be 3-4. And switch sides. That's one thing that Youngs and Brenna have to do against this team. Together, they're averaging almost two aces per game. The way to put pressure on May Walsh, it starts with the serve, just ripping it down the middle there. The hubby wife. And, uh, and you don't see that often happen against a team that has now been together six years to let the ball drop with no touches. Cole Brandon now with 82 aces on the year. She ranks sixth on the women's tour. Partner Eileen Youngs is third. When they got together, Karchi, that's what they thought. They were going to be two of the best servers on the tour playing on the same team. Walsh hammers it. Yeah, Holly, you mentioned before, pretty hard. <laughs> this may have been, this site it is a beautiful site here in Charleston, but it took so much rain on Wednesday. The crew has been working overtime in uh, in oh, trying oh, to oh. fix that beautiful angle there on that on that replay, but trying to fix this sand. It was so soaked, it was like clay last night. And guys, Dahlhauser is getting his chest above the net. Everybody is jumping that much higher, hitting harder, but more blocks as Hart, a result. You had a nice view of uh, Dahlhauser's chest, too. You played him last night. Well, actually, it wasn't such a nice view. <laughs> Walsh it that terminates! Kind of, it was that kind of view. I was seeing a lot of that coming at me. Nice play by Walsh there. And it starts with May and Walsh also trying to – that's one of the things they've been working with their coach on, with uh, Troy Tanner, is being more aggressive on their serving – and creating more point scoring opportunities. Those are easy opportunities when it comes over like that and Walsh puts it away as she, as she should on that ball that's just sitting up with the backspin to crank it down. Gary Walsh, two-time national champion out of Stanford. Goes to the jump serve, hammers it cross court to EY. And a nice effort by Elaine Youngs as she lays it out, but the point will go to May and Walsh, 7-3 here in game one. Well, that's a serve that Carrie Walsh has kind of been using sporadically. Um, her bomb, she's got so much range at 6-3 when she can jump and hit it hard. It's awesome, and it creates a lot of problems like it has the last two plays against Elaine and Nicole. Look at Carrie Walsh's stats, having a phenomenal year, leading in blocks. You mentioned leading in block. She has actually, uh, that's another thing she's been working on is what we call a swing block where she swings her arms a little to get up. A little higher. more of an she indoor has, style. Uh, she has increased her blocking by 27% over last year, pulled herself up almost to one and, one and a half blocks a match, and that puts a lot of pressure on opponents. We're going to see her get even more today because of this hard surface. She's getting up even higher. Walsh on two. Got it. That's another part of the game that we don't see a lot from Misty and Carrie. You know, Carrie is, has so much range, and she can hit a lot more balls on two, but something that Walsh and May have been working on is their passing, and that allows that play to happen. A nice, easy pass on a short serve, and Carrie can just come in and hammer that ball. Wow. Did you see Walsh? Carrie Walsh in from the left. Karchi and I both at the same time putting that left hand out here. I mean, that was a great play. Well, we might be able to see it on the replay. Watch Walsh just at the last second. Drop that hand in there. That's the sign of a great blocker that she read the hitter, the angle of approach, the shoulders, saw it, dropped that left hand in. Easy point. Brand off the quick set. 
And a little roll shot down the line. It's good for the point. So 9-5, Megan Walsh lead here in game number one at Charleston, South Carolina. Stick around. We'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Charleston, South Carolina, 9-5 the score. Kerry Walsh, Misty May over Elaine Youngs and Nicole Brenna. I'm Chris McGee with Karch Karai Karch. We'll start with EY and Nicole. They were off last week. They're definitely recharged. What do they need to do today to take on well, Misty and Kerry? They, they were resting Nicole's ankle. She had a lot of problems with through much of the year. They felt great and really recharged through much of this tournament, but that's what May and... <laughs> Walsh will do to you. They have looked so smooth, Branna and Youngs. They're going to have to get that side out game. We talked about clean side outs. They haven't had many of those. Got to clean it up and get and avoid that Walsh block. Time to bring in the other partner, Holly McPeak. Holly McPeak, you're going to talk about carry missing. Everyone always asks me this when we're on the road. Okay, they have a new coach, but they were number one in the world. Are they better than they were in 06? They are better. It's a scary thing for us, but they are. They're improving in a lot of small areas that will end up benefiting them. They've already won the last seven tournaments, so it is. But their passing is better. I think Kerry's block has improved as well, and they're putting a lot of pressure on the other team with their defense. Okay, now it's time to go down for our weather conditions report from SolarSafe. Go down to Sinjin Smith. Sinjin. 
Okay, our solar safe conditions. Here it is, air temperature about 80 degrees, but you know we have some cloud cover, so it's really nice when the clouds come over. Sand temperature, kind of cool, less than 80 degrees because of the big rain on Friday. Some of the water is still here in the sand. That's why the sand is packed down and it's easy to move in the sand. And our UV index, seven. All the pros are wearing sunscreen because of the UV index. It's high, put on your sunscreen. All right, back to you, Geeter. All right, thanks, so, Sinjin. You're welcome. Take a look at the South Carolina sky. It's been a great weekend here, Karchi. I mean, what a beautiful city hosting AVP for the first time. We went downtown last night. It's just an awesome place. We have had a number of new sites on the tour this year. This is my favorite so far. Beautiful site, a lot of grass, a lot of trees, plenty of places of shade to, for the fans to cool off. Brana to serve. EY from the right side, chance to make it six. And she does, six nine. EY follow back, cross court shot. It all started Down with that great serve by Nicole Brana. She's putting pressure on Carrie Missy. Carrie got a set about 10 feet off the net. That's tough to put away. But here, Elaine Young's is just a little off balance, but sees the open court and goes over angle for Walsh for a kill. Elaine Young's and Nicole Brana in their fifth final of the year. They won the first event in Miami. Jen Boss and April Ross, they beat Carrie Misty in the semifinal. Waterfall shot dug by EY. And just shot Carrie. out of bounds. One of the first two times these teams Walsh. met was the very first tournament in the semifinals. Youngs and Brana winning that only meaning their, their only victory in uh, these nine matches, but they really took took a two-man Walsh, and some people were saying, wow, they, a little bit of a slow start in this, a big year in 2007 with Olympic qualification beginning. You just saw that stat right there, 3-0, and Walsh and May versus Nicole and Elaine in the finals. And Walsh with a block. Walsh. Walsh is doing such a great job watching the hitter. I mean, that time she took the angle, and then she took the line cutback. She's just reaching over, and because of this fast surface, watch this here. She... The tight ball, and then she reaches a right o hand over to seal the net. It's reminding me of Stokey a little, the Kong block. Yeah, the she Kong got one block. with the left and one with the right, just breaking it out. Ah, Following that, you know, Elaine. Holly, you ask Carrie Walsh, you know, we're in the middle of our nine week sprint here, and you ask her if she's tired mentally. She says, not at all. I mean, she seems rejuvenated this year. Yeah, well, I think being with a new coach, they've, they've been having fun at practice. They have new things that they're focusing on, and that kind of brings up the level. For them, they're, they're pushing themselves at a whole new level, and that's exciting for them. Seven facing 11. Elaine Young's to serve out of UCLA. It. You know, that's what's such a problem is Misty May doesn't get stuff blocked a lot. She gets soft blocked. She hits really smart high shots. But the problem is all those go to Walsh, and then she just buries them on the next one where the teams are trying to keep it away from Walsh to begin with, but she covers those soft blocks so well. Misty May trainer. Back to serve. Take a look at the schedule. Karchi and Holly. Nicole Brana puts it away from the right side. Now we'll take a look at the schedule. Well, for the top five, six teams, uh, we're heading over to Europe. We have a tournament in France for some teams starting tomorrow. And then Norway, back to New Jersey, back to Berlin, and then back to Long Beach. And even after that, we have another international event in Switzerland. So we're busy. This is a big time for us, big, meaty part of the season for us where we're very busy traveling. Logging a lot of miles in the air, Holly. Hopefully some frequent flyer miles because yeah. we're going to need a long vacation after this season. I'd like to see you in first cabin, a little first class on those planes. So would I. Well, and how I just mentioned it, these next six, seven weeks are huge in terms of Olympic qualification because there are so many tournaments with a premium on the points, double points, triple points, that most of the, quali the big tournaments are happening this year and not next. So 13 to 9, May Trainer and Walsh. Karch, you're 46 and a half years old. You're going second, third, and fifth, respectively, in the last three weeks. Why don't you make another run at the Olympic Games? Come on, Karchi. 
I am uh, looking forward to sitting there in the booth and uh, cheering everybody on and giving this these achy knees and hips a rest. Misty May buries it from on the right side, 14-9. Now, one thing Youngs was talking about was maybe doing more serving and going up herself and doing the block. That's still going to be a possibility if Branna is having trouble touching any of May's offense, especially those nice high flat shots like that one she just hit. You expect Youngs to come to the net to block more. Walsh, the press and the pike, and she got it for 15-9. Well, that time on Walsh, she, land, she pretty much lined up on the ball, kind of challenging Nicole to go line. She didn't. She hit right into where Walsh was. One thing that impresses me, Holly, about Carrie Walsh, she seems like she's ready to go every single time she steps on the floor. And this year it's shown so much. Every time she touches the ball, it's a better touch on it, whether it's passing or setting right here. Perfect to Misty May. Carrie Walsh is one of the most competitive people I know. Whatever it is, it's a drill, it's a practice, whatever it is, she wants to win more than anybody I know. Growing up in Northern California, Margie and Tim are parents. Happy Father's Day, Tim. And brother Marty, sisters Casey and Kelly, very competitive household. Carrie wanted to play pro baseball with her brother. She was a youngster. How, how good was her fastball? <laughs> Probably pretty good. <laughs> I've seen pictures of her jump shot Mid -80s. in hoops. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Misty May. Well, how are you talking Carrie. about how competitive Walsh is? And she, she's even talked about how her, their coach, Tanner, Troy Tanner, has been able to calm her down. She feels like she gets so stressed and just hungry for every point that he is really able to get them breathe, to breathe well and just focus on the next play. Tells them, look, it's a simple game, but you can't play it rushed. Good, good, good. Great set. Yeah. Yeah, well, the team of, yes. of Terry Walsh and Mr. May, they're just putting Point so much it. pressure. You know, Elaine That's Youngs that. and Nicole Brown are run a really quick offense. They like to hit the ball. But when you have Carrie Walsh jumping big into your angle, you have to sizzle the line or get it over her. And that time, she tried to go too high over Kerry Walsh and hit it wide. It's a nice shot of Troy Tanner, your ex-Olympic teammate, Karchi, 88 gold medal yeah, together. Yeah, exactly. Hannah, with finesse. But did you hear Elaine Young's <laughs> call? The old angle of the Evansville Brent Prohoff call. Never listen to that one. 17 11 here in game number one. May Trainer and Walsh lead. Charleston, South Carolina, the AVP Tour. Stick around. The AVP dancing team. Nicely done. Charleston, South Carolina. The AVP Crocs Tour stop number nine. Chris McGee, Karch Karai, and Holland McPeak. And the fourth member of our broadcast team down in the Crocs Lounge, Mr. Sinjin Smith. Sinjin. I've got the best seat in the house, and I'm here with Logan Tom. We're watching the match. Very difficult 
Logan, for you to be here watching this match, I'm sure. You've taken a second this year. You're getting better and better. You know, last year you made improvements for, for this year. And I know you want to be in the finals. In fact, you said this will probably be the last chance you'll have to watch a final because you're going to be in it. But but tell me something about Carrie and Miss. You played them in, in this event already. What what was it like? You know, the number one in the world for a reason. No doubt about it. Um, their game, they're very consistent. They don't make errors. They don't give you anything. Which is, you know, volleyball. People, a lot of people say they give errors and they don't make them. And I think that's a big reason why they they're so successful. Um, another big reason is they hustle. They don't they don't they don't let any junk fall. You know, a lot of, a lot of times you can't get away with them. Um, can yes, I talk right now? You can talk. <laughs> Everybody can hear us so here. That's okay. Yeah. No, a lot of times you get away, um, you know, with half shots going down, and against them, and it, they don't go down. All right. Let's. I hope we're not on the uh, mic still on the uh, <laughs> whole arena, but that's all right. I think they took care of it. There's a great shot by Nicole. You know, you, you were playing indoors all winter long, and you came out to the beach. How hard is it for you to make the transition to the beach? One of the hardest things I've ever done so far in my career as an athlete. Um, it, it's a different game. They're both volleyball, but they're completely different styles, um, mentally, physically, emotionally. Uh, it's more of an individual sport. There's two of you out there. You have a lot more pressure. And if you get yourself in a hole, you don't have, you know, five, or five other people plus a bench to bail you out. You know, like I said, they need to... They, they incorporate subs to beach volleyball. <laughs> Take a lot of stress out of my life, but um, that's one of the great things about it as well. Well, what, what do Nicole and Elaine have to do right now? They're behind by six points, five points now. What do they have to do to get back in this right now, very quickly, <laughs> before the end of the game? Uh, right now, I would say, my thinking is, is you, you want to you bring some momentum back to your side. You know, enough momentum, just play hard, play guts out. I'm a big, I'm a big believer in, you know, you leave your thing on the line. I, I, I don't like playing safe. And especially right now, if they want to, it's going to be hard for them to get back in the game one. Um, I think they have maybe a 90, oh. a 1% chance of making it, maybe. It's getting less and less. That's being generous. But if they can give them the momentum in this game and bring in the game two, I think that'll help them out. And they just need to come out, you know, more fired up. That's all, that's all they can do and just go balls out. I mean, Kerry and Messi have to be aggressive, aggressive against them. All right. Thank you, Logan. Yeah. And back up to you, Geeter. Thanks, Sinjin. Thanks, Logan. And Holly, you and Logan did have a great match last night. If people caught it on AVP.com, Mosaic against Kerry Walsh. They missed me. I thought it was very well played. I mean, you cited out at a high level. Well, it was well played, but Kerry and Misty were just better. They were making the big plays, and, and that's why they are the best. That brings us to game point, game number one for Misty May, trainer, and Carrie Walsh, 20 to 13 on the board. Here's the replay, Karch. Well, a lot of May's opponents are saying she is playing better defense this year than last, and it shows on that play, digging the hard hits and chasing down the shots. Lane Young, a quote from her was, it's actually frightening how much better she is on defense. ADP.com can watch us all weekend long, every city we go. Beauty thing. Here we go. Ewan. And a mishandled set. That'll do it. 21 13. Game one in the books. May Trainer and Walsh here in Charleston, South Carolina. Stick around. Game two coming up next.
Welcome back to the Carolina Low Country. From the sky, we do a little flyby. Little gators out there in that little wetlands, too. Casey on the Casey cam got a nice shot of the, the gators. You can catch that on avp.com in the Crofts Lounge. 0-0 zero, zero on the board here in game two. And Kerry Walsh with the stuffing. They now lead one game to zero and one zero here in game number two. Well, I, I think one of the telling tales of this match is seven hitting errors for Elaine Youngs and Nicole Brenna. That includes blocks from Kerry Walsh like that. She's dominating up at the net. And anything gets, that gets by her, Misty's digging. And zero for the team of Kerry Walsh and Misty May Trainer. Four blocks for Kerry Walsh. It was amazing how high she was off the sand on that play. Misty May Trainer to the line, got it, 2-0. So you can see a little bit of inexperience from Brana shooting. You never want to shoot middle, right down the middle to Misty May, but let's see if we can get a little look at Carrie Walsh's blocking form. She is getting up so high on this hard pack Sam. One thing she'll do, watch here. This is what you call swing blocking. She's taking an approach and swinging her arms a little. Look at how high she's getting. She's getting her chin over the net. And it is so hard for other teams to get the ball by her. They're trying to get it over her. She's touching, getting it under her, and she's roofing it. You know, Carter, we teach that a lot with the younger kids in club volleyball. The swing block, a lot about that elbow drive, pressing over the net. And that block is worth another point on that play because she's so intimidating at the net. Now, Rana feels like she has to make the perfect shot just to get it by her. Hits it out. Count that as another block. This time, Walsh doesn't have to do anything, but the ball trickles back on that side, and that is because of the previous two blocks she's had. Eight errors for EY and Nicole, none for Carrie and Misty. Misty made a serve. Let's go to Nicole. And Holly, you played with Elaine Young, one of the best setters on tour, and she's the middle blocker, correct? She did. You know, she dedicated herself early in her career to being a great setter because she knew she wasn't going to get a lot of serves being a great hitter. She passes well, but that is one of the areas of our game, especially transition setting, that she does really, really well. That's what they needed, a little break as it trickles off the tape, a let serve good for the ace. Hey, any easy points that they can get, especially from their jump serve, is great. Harry Lane Youngs goes aggressive, deep middle, and it drops short because it hits the top of the tape and drops. Call that an ace the hard way. We'll try it at home. Please. The lucky way. You just love it when it happens for you, Karchi, and hate it when it happens against you. Walsh to the line. Actually, I don't like it so much. It's almost like you have to apologize. It's, it's one you're too embarrassed to, 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 to cheer and just say, oh, sorry about that one. You want, you want to get the clean aces when you can. Four serving two here in game two. Charleston, South Carolina. Chris McGee, Karch Karai, Holly McPeak, and Sinjin Smith. Walsh will have to go on the third contact. And she does, 5-2. And another touch for Walsh and another dig for May as a result. So Misty May and Carrie Walsh, the world's number one team here on the ABP Crocs Tour, 5-2 to two in game two. More action.
Welcome back to 2007 Crocs Cup standings through eight events. And there it is, Misty May and Kerry Walsh in first. Turner and Rockholder, slight lead in second. Deneka Shane Fontana having a phenomenal year in third. Brana and Youngs in fourth. Boss Ross in fifth. There you are, Holly McPeak and Logan Tom in the sixth spot. And Annette Davis, Jenny Johnson, Jordan having a much better last few tournaments in the seventh spot. I believe that was Kerry Dodd and Tachi Manello in the eighth spot. 21-13 game one, 5-2 here in game number two. Brana buries it down the line. Holly McPeak, Nicole. Elaine Young's talked to us during the break a lot about what they learned from the Tampa tournament, things that they worked on these last two weeks, about body language and attitude. Yeah, attitude is everything. Like I said at the top of the show, they need to stay positive. And it's tough when Carrie and Misty are putting so much pressure on you. They've made eight hitting years. That is too many to beat this team. But they have to stay up. That's the only way they can come back in this match. Brana. Stuffed by Walsh. You know, Karch. She alluded to a conversation she had with you in Tampa, Elena. Said it actually helped her quite a bit. Well, I was telling her one of the great ways, there a couple of ways to build team cohesion. One of them is just slapping five, just you know, tell, letting your partner know you're there every time. And the other thing is, if you lose a play, and Brandon Young's just lost this last play, each of them can think of something that they could do better and not blame the partner. Not that they were doing that before, but if you try to take the blame when things go wrong, it really helps build team cohesion. Walsh to go. Out of bounds. And there it is. There they are clapping it up, getting it going. Karch, if you have any more wow. tips like that for Logan and myself, we are open. Yeah. I'll give you my phone number, my email. We're available. I'm ready. I figured you already knew all of them. Yeah. Hey, Karch, Unfortunately, I don't. I think you know much more. When Mike Goldberg's back and you see me kind of in that little tower over there and you know I'm dragging, can you come give me a little pep there talk too, bud? Well, that's just, uh, even if, uh, you know, if I'm playing with Kevin and he hits a ball out, I'll just say, look, I'll, I'll give you a better set. Mm -hmm. i got to get it higher. got to get it closer. got to do this. got to do that. I've got to do something. I've got to find something to do better on the next play. Nicole Brana with some fire from the right side. And she was in great digging position, but actually shanked it a little, and the play was really made there by Elaine Youngs with a great set to put it in position off that low dig. Brana crushing the middle there. That time was one time when Walsh couldn't actually reach that right hand into the middle, left it open, Brana with the kill. I know Elaine Youngs and Nicole Brana feel very comfortable on this, this surface, both great indoor players. They can really hit that jump, sir. Walsh. Just out of the reach of Elaine Youngs. You know, EY said she spent the week in Durango. She wanted to be rejuvenated. She and Misty May are two of the players that don't live in Southern California. She lives in Durango, Colorado. She went to the farmer's market. She went on the river, had a great time, got away from volleyball. Well, I think it's nice to recharge your battery at home. I know after almost every tournament, I like to go home, sleep in my own bed. I feel better for the next tournament. I don't care how how far I have to fly. Just recharging my battery at home is worth it. And Elaine's felt great all weekend after that. And Nicole Brana starting to gain some confidence there on the left side, Karchi. Well, this is a couple of plays now where Brana has actually snuck it. You see that left hand way, way off the net there, and Walsh knows it. She knows that she needs to get both those hands to penetrate across the net, and that's how she was getting so many of those stuff blocks and soft blocks earlier. That was a great replay of the block because he saw her head turn as well, and that's what Misty makes that serve. left arm go back. That's what will happen sometimes is a blocker will try to turn and look thinking it's already going by, and that just by turning pulls that left shoulder off and makes for poorer blocking form. She has to wait until it goes by. It's like a golfer pulling his or her head up too early to watch the ball. How's your golf game, Karch? Tor horrible, <laughs> but I'm having a good time watching the U.S. <laughs> Open. <laughs> Tiger just two back as of the uh, start of this morning anyway. Got a little AVP pool working in there. Mr. Mike Dodd getting that going. Yeah, Dodd-father. EY from the right side. Great job right there, Holly. Looked like from our angle she was going to hit line. She had that late turn. She she did, and Carrie Walsh kind of adjusted her block and pointed the other way. Right here, Elaine Young just gets so high. It's just like playing indoors and cuts it back across her body. That is one of her best swings across her body. 
And that was a beautiful angle. When you hit the ball with a little side spin, it goes even sharper away from the digger. Lane Young's 37 years of age. Turn that back on Valentine's Day. We were in Albany, New York. And right there, Misty May puts it away. And Holly, we're seeing a lane serve and go to the net. Well, that's something that they've been talking about. Nicole says, hey, I play better defense when I'm in a rhythm and I get to stay back here instead of having to run up and alternate and worry about my block. I get to get in a good rhythm, and that's something EY puts more pressure on the hitter right now. She's a better blocker, one of the best in the world, and that's how they feel the most comfortable. 9-7 here in game two. May and Walsh lead one game to zero. It's best two out of three. Charleston, South Carolina. May with a dig. And the Gator dig by Brana goes wide. Point for Misty May and Carrie Walsh. 10-7. And, Holly, you were talking about so much traveling. Misty hasn't been home in quite a while. Her home for her is wherever her husband is playing on the roads. After Louisville, she went to visit him in Chicago, then stayed in Atlanta, uh, in Florida, and Atlanta caught him there. So she's been doing a lot more traveling, but spending more time with him, and her game is just looking so on. With Walsh blocking like that, and May playing defense like that, it is a deadly combination. Brianna can't hit anywhere in the middle and get that ball down. Misty married to Matt Trainer from Florida Marlins. Brianna puts it away. And you know, that's something Holly and I were talking to Misty about after their semifinal. She knows exactly the day she's going to see him next. July 1st, she gets back from Norway. They drive back to the West Coast. Well, I think, not drive, they're going to fly, fly back. back. She's, yeah. she's fly not driving back. anywhere. <laughs> she's no. going first class, too, by yeah. the way. She deserves it. <laughs> that shot, that last drop shot by Brianna, is probably the one place you might be able to get the ball down because May's covering so much court. So if you mix that in once in a while, you can pin her down there and then open the angle. Tough serve. Oh, EY. Nicely done. And EY, a little chisel from the left side off the hands of Walsh. And that's something I'm so impressed with, Holly, is the defense of Nicole and EY. They're in the top ten, both of them in digs. Well, we talked about at the top of the show the short serve. This is a great short serve by Nicole Branna. And it, it doesn't allow Missy May Trainer to get a full approach. EY drops off, great control on her dig, and she chisels the block of Kerry Walsh for the transition. Kerry Walsh, and that's the risk. If your short serve isn't tough enough, May can put that up, and Walsh has the easy put away every time. But give Brana and Youngs credit. It was looking like it was getting away from them at 5-2 early in this game. Little timeout. If they get this side out, they're only down one, and they're in great shape still. Got to keep it close. Can't let them run away with it. May with a little jump float. May a dig again. And May from the left side puts it down the line. And a big point for May and Walsh. 12 9 now here in game number two. It's time to go down to Sinjin Smith. He's with EY Elaine Young. Sinjin. Elaine, you're still in this match. And what are you going to have to do to come back and really take it from them in this second game? We're playing better this game uh, again that's a huge 10 11 we had our chance tight set weird free ball pass um, steady with our side out game and score points it's as simple as that we're not very steady in our side out game Carrie's blocking way too many balls um, Nicole's getting in more of a rhythm that's good continue with it okay good luck thanks Elaine Youngs and Sinjin Smith EY we always appreciate you stopping by the slow-mo EY. The dig by Misty May. 12-9. May and Walsh lead.
welcome back. It's the Cuervo 96 Santa Cruz Open in Santa Cruz, California. Adam Johnson, Jose Loyola taking down Rob Hyder and Troy Tanner. We see Troy Tanner today. Look at him chisel from the right side. He puts that ball away. But it would not matter, Troy, because Adam Johnson will bomb it, and Jose will deliver it. And with that comes a suitcase with $100,000. Adam Johnson and Jose Loyola celebrate the Santa Cruz Open in 96. There's Troy Tanner, nine seasons on the ABP Tour, 10 second place finishes. I know he's a great friend of yours, Karchi, but he does have a gold medal in 88. Absolutely, and he was a really solid technical player. Great on defense, great on passing. Had a frustrating couple of losses there. So close to a win. Oh, boy, that is real trouble. But we could hear it from Elaine Youngs on that last break. She was talking about tight set. That was her partner that made that set. Weird free ball pass. That was her partner that made that set. So, so it'll help her, I think, if she thinks about the things that she can do better, mm -hmm. even if it is a tight set or a weird pass, to try to help her partner out. Well, that time she set the ball too tight for Nicole Brennan. Nicole, you know, when you're up there against Walsh on a tight ball, she just swung high for the hands trying to tour. Walsh is on fire at the net. I believe that's eight blocks now or seven blocks and zero for the team of elaine youngs and nicole brenner who are a big blocking team and let's see if we can see this same swing block approach here wall swinging her arms getting up higher look at that chin over the net again dropping into the mm -hmm. angle and you know holly they're they're running that really quick set too they are they're running the quick set and i like the short serve by misty may she served it short middle and didn't allow them an approach against carrie walsh and that's not easy Walsh with eight blocks now. Carrie Walsh, and she's doing it with her feet as well. People think so much hand blocking, but she does such a great job moving her feet and getting herself in position to make those stuffs. And it's hard because as a hitter, she's in front of you, and then she moves, and all of a sudden she's on the left where Young didn't even see her, and there's another stuff block. Now she has eight blocks and has caused many of those 11 hitting errors by Youngs and Brana to only one for Walsh, the Walsh and May. And an ace serve, Misty May trainer, 16 to 9, now on the board here in game number two. They really need a timeout right now. Things are not going their way. They've given up too many unforced errors, and I don't know why they're not stopping and just taking a break and regrouping. Yeah, they don't have their normal coach, Liz Mazakian, here, who might give them a little tip like, hey, yeah, this but might EY be a knows. good time. EY knows to stop. When, when you start believing, stop the believing as soon as possible. And that stops a 6-0 run for May and Walsh. Elaine Youngs from the right side puts it away cross court. Again, nicely hit where she hits around the side of the ball and makes it go farther to her left, finally avoiding the Walsh block. One of the things Carrie Walsh was talking about is how much deeper she feels the women's side of the tour has gotten in the last year. Players are getting hungry to try and qualify for the Beijing Olympics, but you can see it as everybody is rising. Players are playing better, but they're challenging May and Walsh, and I think they're playing better as a result of that better competition. Oh, what a touch. As we usually say, how about a little something for the effort right there? Nicely done. Well, they actually could have got it over the net. Carrie Walsh didn't see where the ball went after Misty May got it up. It was a great touch. Deflection. Carrie Walsh hustle play. Oh, that ball actually had to go over. The athleticism of Carrie Walsh sometimes just ridiculous. Just so quick at 6-3 to be able to. She blocked on the right side of the court and dug off her deflection on the left side of the court and popped it up. Walsh, married to Casey Jennings back in December 2005. Casey, a third place finish this weekend. Hard cross court shot, Misty May. And how you well know, once you fall down to a team like May Walsh playing this well, it is really hard to, to beat them. You have to just keep it close and squeak out a point or two at the end. And Brana and Youngs have it. They were able to keep it close till about 11 10 or, or could have had 11 10 switch. There's Kerry Walsh's husband, Casey Jennings, with a great finish, third place this weekend. Sit next to Ty Loomis, who took a ninth place. Casey running around with a pink hat <laughs> and pretending to be Karchi all week long. May Trainer, great transition set, and May puts it away. 
Yeah, I thought he was going to play for me last night. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure who was warm enough to play with the double pink hats on. Misty May with another dig. A couple of plays ago, she already had 15 over her average of about six and a half per game. Unbelievable. And look at how far off the net she is. But with this hard pack that we have here, this wet sand, she's still able to put it away hard middle. 19-11, two points away from the eighth straight title on the AVP Crocs Tour. Walsh making it difficult. And that time, Nicole has to go high over the block of Kerry Walsh and down the line. One of the things about running that low, quick offense, wow. you know, you have to hit a really crisp ball to get it past the block. Otherwise, the block can touch it. And if you go tentative at all, you're in trouble. This is the second ball, and right here, Nicole Brennan gets a nice, solid hand high over the line block. Hammering the serve down the line. May for 20. Got it on the cut shot from the right side. It was almost going to be the first block of the match for Elaine Youngs. An unbelievable cover by Kerry Walsh to pop that ball up. I mean, they don't give you a break. And here, transition play. Great set by Kerry Walsh. Misty on fire. Perfect cut shot. It is game match championship point for May Trainer and Walsh as the crowd in Charleston, South Carolina, rises to their feet. Brana to keep the game alive, and it's wide. Misty May Trainer and Kerry Walsh in their first ever visit to Charleston, South Carolina. Come away the champions. And a happy Father's Day to Tim Walsh, says Kerry. They are the champions in South Carolina. Stick around, we'll be back.